Have you ever wondered what the best Evan Williams is? So have I. Let's find out. What's going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new video. As you can see here on the bar top, we have a decent amount of Evan Williams. Now, some of them are full bottles, some of them are samples, some of them are half bottles. So, on the table, we have the Evan Williams Bottled in Bond, 100 proof. This is at least four years old. Next up, we have one of my absolute go-to Evan Williams. It's one of the cheaper bottles that you can find, and this is the Evan Williams 1783. Now, this one right here, I say is better than this bottle, but we're going to find out today in this blind. Next up, we have a sample sent to me by one of my friends, Andrew Dock. This is the Evan Williams 12 year. Now this is 101 proof. This is a Japan bottle. Now I also believe that this is a distillery release only as well here in the States. Next up we have their baseline, the Evan Williams, just black label Kentucky straight bourbon. This is bottled at 86 proof. And then we have one of the harder ones to find. This one right now, it's only a Kentucky release unless you still find it in a store that still has some cases of this. But this is the Evan Williams single barrel. This one right here was put in oak in 2014. This is again bottled at 86.6 proof. So it's got a little bit more of a punch than just their normal offering. Before we get into the blind though, we are creeping. I like, if you look at the subscriber count, we are almost at 3,000 subscribers. So. As I always say, hit that subscribe button if you are brand new, if you enjoy the content. If you don't want to hit the subscribe button, just smash that like button so that somebody else can see this video and they might want to subscribe. But like I keep telling you, at 3,000 subscribers, I'm letting you know what the 5,000 subscriber giveaway is going to be. But without further ado, let's separate these glasses here and uh, let's find out what the best Evan Williams is. We're gonna start on the right, we usually start on the left, but we're gonna start on the right, work our way to the left, and then I'm gonna fast forward left to right so that you don't have to watch the boring stuff, and then we're gonna get into the good part, and that is the order. So, starting here on our right, let's get into the nose. I always find this a little bit of like a peanut, but then there's also always a touch of citrus on Evan Williams from everything that I find on it. Like I'm getting that peanut, I'm getting a, like the citrus I'm getting out of this, it's a little bit of a lemon peel. It's not like a super, super sweet citrus but it's definitely a citrus on the nose. It's almost like a lemon pound cake. It's got that vanilla. It's got, it's got some powdered sugar on there. It smells so good, but let's get into the palate. Yeah, there's that peanut butter. And that is also my first sip of whiskey since last weekend at, from my bachelor party. And that could be 86 proof and it could be hot. It's hot, but we got to acclimate the palate a little bit here. It's not bad, but it, it's, it's thinner. It's a little lackluster. You get a little bit of this peanut butter -ness, -ness, ness on there. You get a little bit of this like funky oak, but it, it's it's a little lackluster. There's nothing really going on for it, but it's not a bad sip. There's no bitterness on that tail end like you usually get on a cheaper pour, but it is super, super peanutty on that initial sip. And then it's just gone. It's a little bit, th it's a thinner sip, but it's not a bad sip. Let's move on to glass two. Glass two on the nose, I get a little bit of a banana, like a banana hard candy. It also has this, like, a richer cherry note coming off of it. Banana cherry. I get a little bit of, like, a toasted, um, like, a, a toasted um, sugar on top. Almost like it could be, it's trying to be a pie, but it's not a pie yet. It doesn't have that, like, it doesn't have any real structure behind it. It just, it has all the components and they're ready to be mixed together, but it's not there yet. But everything by itself smells good, but it could be so much better if it was just all one component. And then a little bit of oak on that back end, but let's get on the palate. This one's a little bit oakier. It's a little more oak forward than the first one. It dries your mouth out a little bit more. Could be a little bit higher of a proof, not quite sure. Off of it, the nose to me is a little bit more pleasant than the palate. That second sip, the palate, it's a little sweeter, right? It was, it's a, it was a little pungent on that first sip. The second sip, I got that cherry, but that was the only thing out of those two fruits. You know, I'm not getting that banana on the cherry. I'm not getting that banana on the cherry. I'm not getting the banana on the palate. I'm getting that cherry forwardness. There's a touch of a cinnamon on that tail end before it comes into a touch of a bitterness, but it's not an off-putting bitterness. It, 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 it lets you know that this was aged in oak. I think I like this one a tad bit more than that one, but 
We'll go through it one more time as time goes on. But here we're gonna move on to glass number three. Glass number three just smells a little hot. I'm not getting much out of this besides heat. A touch of like a, a little bit of a sweet sugar coming off of there. This all, it has a, a little bit of a coconut, which is very interesting. But I'm just getting like a banana coconut. Like this could be a pina colada in a glass for all I know. Let's get in the palate. I don't like it. It's bitter. It's super bitter. It's bitter. There's a touch of a sweetness that comes through. I'm getting a little bit of peanut, but it's just, it's very oaky. It just seems like it's like there's there's a lot of char in this. It's not my cup of tea. This is number one. This is number last. But let's move on to glass number four. Ooh, glass four smells really nice. Wow. Strawberries. This is this is a much different nose than the other three. This is so different. I'm getting strawberries. I'm getting very, very sweet brown sugar. There's the molasses in there. This smells very nice. Let's get into the palate. That's creamy. It leaves a nice coating on your mouth. Now, granted, the finish is not super long. I think the finish on glass two was longer. If this is not the 12 year, I don't know what this is because the nose is so much different compared to everything else that I think it's getting a little bit more from that, that barrel that it was aged in for that much longer. But this smells fantastic. It There's no peanut coming off of this, like everything else. Like I think if it is that 12 year, the age takes away from that peanutiness that comes from Evan Williams and I, I always get. And I think on this, it, it's, it's bringing out a little bit more of those fruity flavors. I'm getting a lot of that strawberry on the palate. I'm getting a lot of cherry. A lot of red fruits. There's a cinnamon that's really, really pleasant. Like a very light cinnamon, like a cinnamon dusting on like a cappuccino almost. Yeah, that smells so nice. Two and four right now are tied. There, I mean, this one right here is very, very nice. This one right here is very, very nice. Let's move on to glass number five here, everybody. There's not much complexity coming off of this glass. I'm trying to find stuff that's, that it's being masked by something. It's got a little bit of this sweetness that comes through. This is just a very bland nose, and it makes me think that this is probably just their traditional offering. Let's get into the palate. Oh yeah, it's thin. Just has this like it's got a little bit of a metallic-y note on that tail end. Just tastes charry, metallic-y, and thin. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. So we're gonna go through this one more time, going left to right, and I am going to give you my order on what I think is the best Evan Williams that I could find on my shelves. So, let's get through. All right, everybody, we have our order. And these front three are so much better than these back two. I don't know what the order is. We're gonna find out right now. If you've enjoyed this video so far, make sure you smash that like button. So without further ado, let's find out what came in fifth place. Fifth place goes to the regular Evan Williams. Evan Williams, just their regular offering, came in first place. Let's find out what came in fourth place. Fourth place goes to Evan Williams bottled in bond. Third place, our third place winner goes to Evan Williams, single barrel. And our first place winner, we have either the Evan Williams 1783 or the Evan Williams 12 year. And we are going to find out what came in first place right now. First place goes to Evan Williams 12 year. Now I'm not surprised at that whatsoever. And second place, it goes to the Evan Williams 1783. Let me know down in the comments if you have done this kind of a blind before and which of the Evan Williams came out on top for you. If this is anything like the order that you thought it would be, let me know down in the comments as well. But until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.